This is Smallsy Surgery. Hey, Smallsy here. Uh, welcome to the podcast. Thank you for downloading and strap in. This one is going to be thirsty. That's the word I'm going to use, thirsty. I got my prime in one hand because uh, social media superstar, YouTuber, business mogul, now professional wrestler, Logan Paul co-hosted the show with me. Um, he's heading back to Australia. He's going to be doing the WWE Perth Elimination Chamber event. It's going to be on Binge, February 24. We got to talk about wrestling, his success, the haters, bunch more. Strap in, Logan Paul taking over the podcast. Let's go. Hi there, my name is Logan Paul. I'm the bad guy. There's a part of me that ignites. They may not like Logan's personality, but you cannot deny the in-ring abilities of the social media megastar. Unbelievable. I'm the best wrestler in the industry, so I'll beat that ass. I'm bored as hell. Let's go! Logan Paul! Oh, oh my goodness! There's a lot of weight on my shoulders to perform well. Whether you like me or hate me, I don't care. But uh, you better be entertained. When they say drink, you say fly! Drink! 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 Hello. What's up, bro? How are you, King? I'm amazing, dog. How you doing? I'm doing great. Uh, my name is Smallsy. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. What's up, Smallsy? How you doing? Pleasure to meet you, man. Dude, I'm very excited that you're coming back to Australia. Yeah. Yeah, me too, man. Uh, I love Australia, specifically Perth. We did Perth and Sydney when mm. I came, and I, all of us came back thinking Perth could be a place we lived one day if it wasn't in the middle of absolutely nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I do, you do know. You do know. Apparently, it is like the most remote uh, or isolated capital city in the world. So you are the furthest from civilization when you're there than anywhere else in the world. That was the one thing that maybe would prevent us from from living there. We literally we were like, this is one of the most beautiful places we've been to it just it you know it took four days to get here yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> can i can i honestly people are listening to this and if they're watching they'll see this you do, you do, you dog have the most pimp office i'm obsessed with what is just hey, thanks man dude, how, how much <laughs> I, here's a real question you're in your i'm guessing this is the office right you've got that little yeah, yeah, what's yeah, that yeah. bear thing called the builder bear I, i've always wanted one of those but they seem obnoxiously priced and i don't know what they do it's called the, <laughs> me either dude i have no idea it's called the cause uh mm. they're, they're like little collectible bears yeah they have that, yeah like, modern, and then i think i don't know. louis vuitton does one and gucci puts their logo on them and they're yeah yeah, yeah. how much work do you do in here thing. you don't do much do you uh, it's for show zero no uh, yep <laughs> <laughs> i do i do my interviews here uh I, i'm working on getting a desktop computer for this desk but like actually right now like i'm just on my phone and um i have like a little this like you're sitting on some pokemon boxes yep cool. prime Pro, yep like it's all just kind of makeshift no i love it I, i'm i'm here i'm here for all of it can i just say i'm so excited to to meet you you are a cultural do you do you wake up in the morning realizing you've turned into a cultural phenomenon slash icon slash uh South Park are now talking about like is that the moment where you go hang on the South Park have just done an episode on me I think guys I think we made it I think we're doing all right it's funny I'm, I'm flattered dude thank you I, I uh I I didn't think that until that episode dropped yeah no that's that's for, for real like the uh the marker I think of 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 pinnacle and I'm stunned that they did an entire episode <laughs> on on me slash prime and i couldn't be happier about it absolutely you know you're doing something right when they rip you for a full episode right it's not just Bro. it's not just like a not little just a cameo no it's for a <laughs> full a episode they rip you for a full you're like i've done it guys mom look at <laughs> yeah, me now yeah. no, dude the amount of dms i got uh and and responses of people being like there's nothing cooler than this that you've ever done yep. this is that you're peaking <laughs> and i'm it. like yeah i know and I, I know. and you never you didn't even do it it was somebody else <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah now you are it's the elimination chamber that you're coming back to australia for tell me what 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 regime are you working towards at the moment how are we training what calories are we doing uh, who, yeah. Whose face are we sticking on top of one of those, like, you know, fake bodies that you're punching in the gym? Like, yeah. who are we, who are we yeah. taking out? Honestly, anyone who wants it. Um, man. Seth Rollins rematch, Kevin Owens. 
awesome theory. I like Cody Rhodes, but maybe Co literally anyone in the WWE who, who wants to try to take this title from me. I, I, I am not letting this thing go. Uh, I'm working out six days a week. I'm training very hard, like very hard. And I just flipped the switch from uh, treating wrestling as a side quest to now identifying as a WWE superstar. And I'm going to do this for real. Really? This is huge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna up my matches uh, that I have for a year. Uh, just appear a little more, stay scarce, but keep my appearance as special. Mm -hmm. But um, you'll see me more, and I intend to take this industry over. You know. Uh, hey, have you got a thing? You know, like the wrestlers have a thing. Like you know, like uh, the Rock was like, "Can you smell what I'm cooking?" Like, have you, you brother? You, you, no. It, it's it is the hardest thing ever to have a thing yeah I, I i have i'm racking my brain every second of every day trying to come up with what my thing, thing is. is gonna i be. think i found a cool i think i found a cool pose to come out with good, like good what start. Kind of yeah yeah good start like but it, it's, is it, it's you know it's almost like not even up to me that's the thing it's like it, it, you you'll say something mm. and it, if the fans react to it like that's it mm. so i just gotta keep throwing you know shit at the wall and see what sticks. sticks yeah have you got like a pensive look or something like that like a like an eye like mm, <laughs> like a mm, or, like this, a, like yeah. or you could just be the fun guy like there's there's nothing wrong with being the fun guy like because if you go in and you're the i don't want to be the fun guy okay, okay I all right fun guy. i'll just an idea nah, we're workshopping yeah. it here i don't don't shoot me don't kill me <laughs> i'm just trying to help no i'm definitely fun i'm definitely i could be fun but also like I can, I have, I could flip that switch mm -hmm. to be an extremely physical special specimen that can, you know, throw a 150 pound person across a room. Mm -hmm. Like I could do it, mm -hmm. um, and I'm and I'm fun, but make no mistake, like I'm not to be fucked with. Sorry if I can't. No, uh, you swear, for, for swear, swearing. absolutely. No. What, while we well, while we're bad. swearing, uh, the haters. What are we? Who are we saying fuck you to? Talk to me. Who <laughs> yeah, are we? Fuck the haters. No, 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 no. I actually, I, I, I like the haters. They have an important spot in my life. Mm -hmm. um, I, I. I I do half of what I do literally just to prove people wrong. Yeah. And if there's no one to prove wrong and, and make them eat their words and have them stick it where the sun don't shine, I don't have a job, mm. you know? <laughs> Absol hey, absolutely. There's uh, sometimes that the haters, the haters get you out of bed in the morning because you're like, I'm not going to let you be right about me. Even if I'm having a bad day, I'm not going to let them be no, right. No, no. I you, you can't and and i've made it difficult for them i've made it easy for them at some at some times mm. but i think uh from a macro perspective um they're losing right now and that makes me very happy yeah absolutely hey um speaking just quickly we, we <laughs> talked we touched on we touched on the the south park thing uh and then i want to say like congrats on like the whole prime you and ksi and that drink that must print cash that just you fucking must just be it must be scrooge mcduck diving into your big vault uh so so yeah it does <laughs> print cash <laughs> but uh but um the payment system to me and ksi is not quite defined super well yet okay. if that makes sense like like we haven't taken any dividends per okay. se from, okay. from the earnings it's um the money's just all gone back into the company so, oh, okay. so like yes we we did gross 1.2 billion, amazing milestone, whatever, and we we profited a couple hundred million, um, a little more, but it all just goes back into creating the most streamlined product we can. You can't, I'm mean, honestly, you can't get that stuff here in Australia. It's like sell, there's like a still limitation on bot, as you would have known when you were here. It was like flying off the. Sh My favorite one is is it the is it lemon lime the green one? I can't remember what it's called. Lemon, yeah, yeah. Oh, lemon lime, it's a staple. Oh, that that just it's very good. Slides right down your throat, like it just it just, <laughs> it just slides right yeah. in. I'm like, where's the next I mean, one? I mean, look, that's not. This isn't um part of the plan here. Uh, like even South Park made this joke. They, they, it was like a like a like a. I think they called it a fake scarcity mm. or something. True. Okay, but yeah. that's not. A, it, it's it's not the intention. Like no. like there's no reason that everyone everywhere shouldn't be able to grab prime in the same way they are some of our competitors just because of availability like yeah. we need to up our distribution and that's that's one of the things that we're going to do in 2024 because it's not like we, we want people to have the product it should you shouldn't have to overpay you shouldn't have to pay more than two dollars for a hydration drink like, no I totally just, agree what is what have you learned about business is that what have you is this teaching you stuff like things that you what was the big thing that you walked into it and you're like i did not this this i didn't understand this, i thought it was fun but this is my big learning 
the 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 biggest learning is uh the retail key yeah okay. like like okay check this out um uh when any influencer or creator promotes a product on social media if it's dtc direct to consumer like online like yep. hey go to shoploganpaul.com if i'm not telling you that every day mm. you're not gonna do it you like maybe maybe the day that i say it, you will mm. fine but it's hard it's hard for any creator to make their entire life about pushing to driving traffic to a website um instead we don't have to drive traffic traffic drives to the retail store the grocery store because they need to get groceries True. and you see our, our beverage which is a recognizable at this point like almost household name um or you see like a picture of me or ksi next to the stand and you go oh, i know those guys those internet guy the boxers right like, I'll, I'll try their drink oh wow it's good oh it only has two grams of sugar like the the product captivates and the retail key is an arm that i don't think enough influencers are using i was i was actually that's it that's i'm so impressed with that answer because i was gonna say oh the hr department human resources that was your big learning about running a company it's like oh shit I got I got a human resource. Or what we can't just we can't prank people. There's like we have a real company now. Like the, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's it's good. We have we have a great team, man. And, and That's great. our our, uh, our partners absolutely nailed that that side. Absolutely. All right, I'm, I'm running out of time, but I'm gonna go. I hit you with a lightning round of questions, King. Because, all right, all right. because here we go. Uh, strangest place you've been recognized. Go. Oh, oh uh, it's got to be bathrooms. Always bathrooms. Always bathrooms. Stop recognizing me in bathrooms. Do, do you use the <laughs> while, I'm, while I'm peeing? <laughs> yeah. Do you use the stall or do you just go to the the stand up urinal? Because like if you were famous, I'd be like, I get it. I would use the privacy too. Yeah. No, I, I use the stall now, well, mainly because I sit when I pee. Yeah. No, that's right. Because you're a real man. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> how many <laughs> how many cars do you have? Not as many as you think. I have. Two, three. Okay, that's right. That's that's respectable. He cares about the environment. Uh, you just mentioned you you just mentioned your big mansion. In how many bedrooms has it got? And have you been in all of them? I've been in all the bedrooms. It's got four. Okay, nope, it's got six. I was going to ask you where's the U.S. title belt, but I can see it there behind you. Do you ever Come just on, baby, walk around? Yeah. Do you ever walk around naked with that on at home? Just 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 go every, look at every me. night. From Every night from 7 to 8 p.m. Yep. Yep. My fiance knows, my pets know, everyone's aware. Um, what do you do in your spare time, if you have any? Uh, I think about what I'm going to do when I don't have spare time. Yeah, okay. Um, and then, yeah, I plot for the future. <laughs> yeah. And then are you ever alone? This is a weird question, but you are, you are so busy and there is people always doing – there's always someone working in your house and I can imagine, you know, there's people coming and going – but are you ever alone? Do you ever have a minute where it's just you wake up and you walk around the house and there's no noise? I, I do have those moments. I cherish them. They are very important to me. Um, and when I am alone, coffee, mm. gym, Pokemon Unite, mm. a show, mm. pet my dogs. Yeah. That's the recharge. I you like know? that. I like that. Oh, and then also to a superficial question to end, uh, best free thing you've ever been given. You got anything? Best free thing. Uh, it's got to be uh, a Rolex. Shut I had a, up. Uh, uh -huh, Shut up. Uh -huh. it, dude, it's like, it's like an, it was, this is insane. It was like a $90,000 gift. Wow. Mm -hmm. Shout out Solomon. That it, It's unbelievable. It's like a. a Who's ever Solomon is, I, I, I'm here. I, Solomon, hello. <laughs> Hello, we I worked can help together for the, we, for, we, the, for the Floyd Mayweather fight, and he wanted to he, he wanted to give me a gift, and so he gave me a uh, olive face fiftieth presidential annual like role. It was it's unbelievable. It's in the other room, but I couldn't believe it. Dude, man, I I I, I thank you for your time. I, I I honestly sit here and I you know it's very easy in, in for people who aren't doing what you're doing to like write it off. But to get where you've gotten and then to stay there and then to keep working at it, that's harder than I think actually getting somewhere. So I wanted to say a mad congrats to you on everything and, and to your whole Thank team. You, man. And we can't wait to have you back here in Australia. Thank you, man. Well, yeah, maybe I'll see you when I'm when I'm out there crushing some skulls in WWE. Yeah, stomping some heads, you know, doing – oh, yeah. sorry, I, I've got I – need... I saw the new Zac Efron Iron Claw movie. I don't know if you've seen it. The wrestling wrestling is so physically uh, tough on your body, albeit it is it is an an art and it's a performance. 
fuck, man. I don't know. Have you seen the movie? If, if do you, it's just he- I he- did, hectic. I, I did see it. I walked away thinking, "Wow, that's a sad movie," and then I realized it's based on a true story. Yeah, it changed my entire perspective. It's 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 really unfortunate, and I think it'll show a side of the business that people don't see. But I I, I don't want to sit here and take credit for having the most physically grueling, physically demanding uh calendar year that a lot of my counterparts do like yeah. dude i'm 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 wrestling four or five six times a year mm. man some of my peers on friday night smackdown monday night raw who are like regular do mm. like regularly doing this stuff like mm. like dominic mysterio has over 100 matches this like these are the guys who who who, who got to sit in the ice bath you know yeah. um i take care of my body but it's it's important that the really active wrestlers are doing it absolutely man i totally i totally agree well look you look after you rest the rig okay yes yes sir you rest the rig um yep, look, yep, look yep, after yep. that pretty face we can't wait to Thanks, have it man. here in australia all right <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> thank you thank you smallsy please help me Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.